Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Vazir. I'm a consultant at Madhurut Hospital, Gurgaon. Today, we're going to talk about certain foods which can aid in better health and heart health of the child and also prevent future cardiovascular risk in such babies. We'll talk about what are good foods for the heart and what are bad food for the heart. Among the first one good food that we must all have is green leafy vegetables. They are the ones which contain vitamin K, which is important for a better clotting system in the blood. One of the best foods to have is leafy green leafy vegetables. They contain vitamin K, which is important for good clotting in the blood. And they also contain nitrites. So one of the good foods to have is leafy green vegetables. These are the ones which have a high amount of vitamin K, which is important for better blood correlation. And they also contain nitrites, which are important in lowering the blood pressure. Some of the examples of green leafy vegetables include spinach, kale, broccoli, and many more in Indian scenarios. The other important uh, nutrient which one must consume is whole grains, not the polished one. And whole grains contain fiber, which is important in reducing the cholesterol in the blood, and that is important for maintaining the heart health in the long run. Some of the examples of whole grains include oatmeal, brown rice, a whole uh, wheat, barley, and quinoa. The third food I'm going to talk to you about is berries. Berries contain antioxidants which reduce the oxidative stress and inflammation in the heart and protect the heart in the long run. Some of the common berries include strawberry, blueberries, raspberries, and you could find them at the local market. Nuts and seeds are important sources of minerals like magnesium, which improve the health of the heart. They also contain fiber and they also contain certain good omega-3 fatty acids and are responsible for elevating the heart health. Some of the common uh, nuts and seeds which are available are uh, the almond, the walnut, sunflower seed, flax seeds and chia seeds. If you are a non-vegetarian or a pesco vegetarian then you can include fatty fish in your diet to improve the heart health of the child. Generally, the fatty fish contain a lot amount of omega-3 fatty acids, which are important for reducing the inflammation and preventing a long-term heart disease. Some of the examples of fatty fish include herring, mackerel, tuna, salmon, which are good for your heart. At the same time, it is important for us to know that there are certain foods which are not good for the heart in now and in future as well. Some of the bad food for the heart include foods which are high in trans fat. These are the fats which are created by adding hydrogen to the vegetable oils. They are often found in baked products and fried foods. Trans fats can increase the bad cholesterol, the LDL one, and reduce the good cholesterol, the HDL one. They can also increase the blood clots and inflammation in the blood vessels of the heart. Another bad food is the foods which are high in salt or sodium. These are the foods which are high in salt or salt has been added to them for preservation or for taste and which include the common fast foods which are available around the corner. Too much of a salt can increase the blood pressure of the child and it is not surprising in a recent survey, 5% of adolescent boys and girls that is between 10 to 19 years had elevated blood pressure. Similarly, foods which are high in sugars are also bad for the heart. These are the sugars which are added to the food during the preservation or during making of the food. Foods which are high in sugar would result in higher calorie food with low nutrient fat and the commonest examples are the pancakes, the cakes, the uh, the prosiums and so many other like sweets products including the sweets that which you are going to consume during Diwali. 
processed meat like bacon, hot dogs are bad to have because they contain salt, they contain preservatives which are bad for your heart. And also because you're consuming more processed meat, you're less likely to consume fresh fruit and vegetables. Consumption of highly purified or processed uh, grains like white rice or white bread, you know, things like that are also bad for your child's heart and for your heart as well. These foods have a very low nutrition value, but they have a high glycemic index, which means that if you consume them, your blood sugar levels actually spike faster compared to, for example, consuming fresh fruits and vegetables. If you take a fresh fruit with more sweetness, you're less likely to have a spike in your blood sugar compared to taking things like roti or a white bread or a white rice. And towards the last, food alone is not enough. It is important that your child exercises for 60 minutes a day to keep him healthy, both physically and internally, including the heart. Thank you so much for listening and hope to catch you soon.